I'm going to show you now how to download the GPS file of the Heisen Trail and how to load it onto your handheld GPS unit so that when you're out hiking along the Heisen Trail you can use it as a navigational aid. Now here I am on the maps page of the Heisen Trail website and there's a couple of files that can be downloaded here. There's a KML file and that's for downloading and viewing the Heisen Trail in Google Earth. But for handheld GPS units I'm looking for the GPX file and we've got it here. So I'm going to download that GPX file now. GPX files are a generic GPS file format that are supported by many of the modern GPS units. So I'm just going to have a look at that file that I downloaded. And people often say to me, they downloaded the file but they couldn't open it. And if we try and open it now, and I'm using Windows XP, but we can see that Windows is saying it cannot open this file. It doesn't know what a GPX file is and it doesn't know what program it can open it with. And it doesn't matter. We don't need to edit the file. All we need to do with a modern GPS unit is load that file onto our unit. So today I'm using a Garmin Oregon 450T. But these instructions will work for any of the GPS units in the Oregon series and indeed any of the Garmin decoder units as well and any of the modern GPS units. Now when I plug my GPS unit into my computer a couple of drive windows come up. There's a H drive and a Garmin Oregon E drive and the specific names and number, uh, letters used here will vary from one computer to another but in a, with a Garmin 450T there's two drives because the H drive here is the SD card and the E drive is the internal memory of the GPS unit. Now in many GPS units the SD card is where the topographic maps are stored whether they be the maps of Australia, North America or Europe, whatever. The, to the highly detailed topographic maps but in the case of the 450T they actually ship with the unit and so those topographic maps are stored deep in here somewhere and so there's nothing on the SD card. If I put the GPX file onto here I can't actually access it from within the GPS unit so we don't want that so we're going to close that one. So on here the main drive we've got a Garmin folder and what we're going to look for is the GPX folder and in a 450T if we open that Garmin folder we see the GPX folder um, and this is where we're going to place the Heisen Trail GPX file. Within that GPX folder there's a folder called current within that is a G, uh, current.gpx file and that's what it's just recording or just recorded but what we want to do is we want to place the Heisen Trail GPX file in this folder not in current but in the GPX folder and the GPX folder does its positioning does vary a bit depending on the unit so if we go back to the top level this is what it looked like when we opened it sometimes it can be hard to find that GPX folder but you can use search and do a search for GPX and sure enough we found it there um, and here we are back here we're on the current and the rest of the folder so all we need to do is we need to drag that GPX file of the Heisen Trail into this folder so we haven't put it in current but we've put it in the GPX folder and that's all there really is to it and I can show you a few things as to how that looks like on the GPS unit but for modern GPS units it's as simple as that. So I mentioned I was using an Oregon 450T, a Garmin unit, and this is what it looks like and I'm just going to show you a few screenshots of how we can use the GPX file from the Heisen Trail website. Um, in the where to up here uh, we could use that to, to look at the waypoints or the tracks but if we scroll over here using that we can scroll over a couple of screens and we find the two key ones, we've got a waypoint manager and a track manager. Now if we select on the waypoint manager this is what comes up. This is all 150 campsites, all the waypoints of the Heisen Trail. Now they're not in alphabetical order and they're not in order of the trail. They're in order the closest to you. Um, which in my case the closest one to me is the Mount Lofty Cottage and as you can see down that's 12.06 kilometers away and so on and that's the waypoint manager if we looked in the track manager what we would see is a list of all the tracks again not in alphabetical order or in order of the trail but in how close they are to me so the closest section of the Heisen Trail to me is this alternate route in the Southern Guide Chapter 3 Map 4 and the second closest one 
Southern Guide, Chapter 3, Map 3, The Spur Trail to Harndorf. And it's not to the fourth one down that we see a Southern Guidebook. Now, we can't see the whole name of that file, but if we click on Southern Guidebook, we see that it's called the Southern Guidebook, Chapter 3. Now, to see this track on the GPS unit, we need to click Show on Map. We don't need to do this with waypoints, but we do need to do this with tracks. They won't automatically display. So we click Show on Map, and then we can click View Map, and what happens is it shows us the whole, that whole chapter trap, trap. And here's the whole chapter track. Now we need to zoom in a bit to see any detail, and from this uh, zoom out level we can't see any of the waypoints. We can see some broad town names. If we zoom right in, we can see the Heisen Trail. It's marked in cyan, and we can see a waypoint, Scott Shelter. It's a campsite on the trail. Back in the Track Manager, we can actually change the colour of this. We can make it thicker, so it's easier to see, and we can change it to a different colour. Um, and that's pretty much all there is I can show you. Um, so, enjoy your hiking.